number four, Cole Raz, gets himself the Chili Willy 150. Cole Raz wins the big race out of Tucson Speedway on Saturday night. The Chili Willy 150 bumped up a day due to the bad weather that we had here in Southern Arizona on Sunday. And he joins us now, the winner. Cole, you came real close last year. Uh, to winning this race. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the win, and what did you feel like was the difference this year? Well, first off, I want to say thank you for having me on. It's always a pleasure talking with you guys, and uh, man, it was really surreal. Um, you know, I, I grew up racing here for quite a few years, and even though I live in Oregon, this place has always been a second home to me. And to, to win the biggest race they, they host this year, and uh, really one of the bigger ones on the west coast it means a lot and um you know as you mentioned we were so close last year and it just gave us a small little taste of what it'd be like and uh i don't think it could have been any sweeter and it looked like it was a little bit more crazy than than i've seen in in recent runs there was a lot of yellows there was a lot of reds what was happening out there i saw you know we we played the cut there there was some four wide going at some times out there it looked like it was uh, a a little bit more i guess uh, uh gutsy and, and and heated and 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 guys taking a lot more chances than i think i've seen out there in recent races yeah, I think uh, there, there's a lot of factors going into that. You know, um, in previous years, this this race paid ten thousand to win, and this year it was bumped up uh, additional five, so it made it fifteen. And then you had some lap money on the line, so there was a lot to to be won, but there was also a lot to be lost at the same time. And I think a lot of guys were just really antsy to get the the first race of the year underway. And um, fortunately, that that uh, provides some um, unfortunate incidents, but that's uh, to be had sometimes in racing and. Uh, you know, I'm just glad we were able to stay at a majority of the messes that were taking place. So it was definitely a crazy one, but Tucson provides just incredible racing. I mean, three, four wide. It, you don't see that anywhere else in the country. So that's so it makes Tucson, you know, so special and unique. Cole, you know, you mentioned that, uh, you know, you kind of grew up racing at this track. What's, what's your background? Where are you from originally? And, and how did you kind of, did you, or were you originally from Tucson? And then you went moved up to Oregon? And, and how, or if not, how did you kind of come to find this track and, and, and be a guy that likes to run down here? So it, it really took place probably, I'd say, when I was about 13 or 12. Um, so I, I bor I'm born and raised from Lake Oswego, Oregon. Uh, my older brother, Grayson, is the one who got our family into racing. And uh, he raced the NASCAR k Pro Series West, um, which is what it was called at the time, in 2015 and 2016 for Jeff Jefferson and Jerry Pitts. And uh, he was teammates with Noah Gregson, who's now in the Cup Series. And uh, Noah, he grew up racing for a gentleman named Dustin Ash out of Las Vegas. And uh, he had a legend car program going together, and that's what Noah ran with him. And um, I was just at the time. So, um, you know, we started racing with Dustin, and he got connected with uh, Brad and Joanne Cornelius in here out of Tucson. And that's really what, what shifted our group and our family into the Tucson realm and, and this area. And uh, I ran a year of the truck series out here at Tucson for Brad. And then, you know, kind of one thing after another, got into his super late model. And, um, you know, probably five years to six years later now, um, we're here. So um, it's just a, a place I've, I've grown fond of. Um, one of my best friends, Brandon Farrington, who, who's run out here a lot and from Tucson, um, is somebody I can rely on. And whenever I come to town, he, he always gives me a place to stay. So it, it really has, like I said, become a second home. So now what is, uh, in terms of where you are in your career right now, are you, are you still ro running mostly, um, you know, weekend style here on the West Coast? Uh, have you had a chance? I know k and I believe they're with its advanced auto parts right now. Are you running it all in that series as well out here on, on the West Side? So, you know, the last couple of years, we've really shifted our focus on, on hitting the, the crown jewel races. Um, you know, your, your bigger marketed and, and higher paying races. Um, and, and we're fortunate enough to win a couple of those last year. Um, we're getting ready to head actually to Irwindale, California for another big event with this for all Spears Southwest Tour Series. So, um, you know, I, I'm just full time, super late model racing. Uh, I'm working in the shop, working on the business side of it because, you know, my goal is still to. To get to that NASCAR level uh, just requires a lot of funding to get to that point, but um, trying trying everything I can to make that happen. And our, our goal this year is to venture out a little more back east, as you know, that's the, the racing world is more prevalent back there. Um, we, we made a trip in December 
to the Snowball Derby in Pensacola, Florida, and, and that's essentially our, our our Daytona 500, our Super Bowl for for uh, Super Late Model Race, and it was really cool to experience that. Yeah, what was that experience like to kind of go down there and have a chance to run down south? It, it was incredible. You know, you, you spend so many years watching it on TV and hoping you have the opportunity to make it back there and, and race with the biggest names there is. Um, you know, a lot of the, the NASCAR stars of, of today – come back and run that in december with them having time off and it's just such a, an amazing event they put on i mean we're, we're out there for for 11 days um from the week of thanksgiving through the, the week of, of the december there so um it's a long time away from home um but you get a little bit of nicer weather back there than we get in oregon this time of year so that <laughs> is definitely a positive um but it's just an incredible experience i mean the the competition out there is so stiff i mean just making the shows an accomplishment itself and um, you know, we had some unfortunate luck come the the big 300-lap feature there, but it was uh, great to get our first one under our belt. Cole Raz is joining us. He is the 2024 champion of the Chili Willie 150. Now, the race got bumped up a day because of the weather. How did you deal with that as a racer? I mean, obviously, there were, I would imagine, because I know there were some races going on Saturday night anyway. I believe there were some heat races and, and some other kind of qualifying races, that, so you're probably planning to run anyway. But now you've got to change your mentality to, 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 do, to run the main race. How did, how did that kind of play into your preparation process uh, as you guys found out that the, the race was going to be switched up? You know, I was actually a, a huge advocate for moving it up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I don't like dragging the shows out. Um, you know, with that essentially made it a three-day show rather than a four-day show. Um, so that just helps reduce costs even more for us teams. And a lot of these guys travel from, you know, many, many hours away. So it only helps them. Um, but ultimately, like you said, we were going to be racing Saturday regardless. Um, it just ended up being the biggest one. So, um, you know, after the success we had Friday night in the prelim, um, you know, I was pretty ready to go for Sunday, and obviously that transpired to be in Saturday. But, um, you know, for us, you know, we were prepared for anything. We've seen the weather before the, the week even started, so we were ready for, for any decision made. And, Cole, you're how old now? I'm 20 years old now. 20 years old. So you're still young. So in terms of, of your, your, I guess, projections or, you know, your trajectory, when would you, what would be the next step for you now in terms of where you want to go from what you're doing right now to try to get closer to that opportunity to maybe get into the Cup Series? You know, it, it's tough. Um, you know, you look at a lot of younger guys, and there's a few different avenues and routes you can take. Um, you know, you have the Arkham and Art Series, and – that is something you have to go through for a couple races in order to get approved by NASCAR. Um, you know, that's something I'd like to do at some of the bigger racetracks like your Daytona, Kentucky, Iowa, those type of mile, mile and a half up type racetracks just to gain some big track experience. But, um, you know, I think the truck series would be the next step. Um, you know, ultimately, I'm very content with where I'm at in super late model racing. You know, anybody I've talked to that has had the chance to go cup racing state that, the best times of their career were in super lane models. And um, obviously every, every dream that we've had as a little kid has been to the, try to get to the cup series, excuse me. Um, so that's obviously still the goal, but I'm very happy with the group of people I have right now. And if I can make a career out of it, that's amazing. Um, but obviously the goal right now is to still have the chance to race on Sundays. Who are the guys that, that you love to watch on Sundays growing up and, and now? Growing up, I was always a big Jeff Gordon fan. Um, you know, a big reason for that, my dad was, and uh, that really rubbed off on me. So, um, you know, right now I don't really have a particular one. We always got a pull for our good buddy Noah Gregson. Um, he's got an opportunity here with Stuart Haas this year. So um, you always got a pull for, for your buddies. Yeah, I mean, you talk about Noah's obviously a young guy uh, on the circuit now. Uh, it, it's It's interesting. I mean, we've seen him kind of make that run up. Uh, to, to finally get his opportunity, I guess. Is there, are there things that you've talked to about him uh, and gotten advice? Maybe what's the best thing that he's told you about that track? Oh, man. You know, I was actually on the phone with him yesterday um, when we were unloading, and he was just saying how much he wished he had the chance to, to win that race. Um, <laughs> you know, he's always been a guy that's been in my corner and anything we needed, whether it was myself or our family or anybody, he was always there to, to lend a hand and, He's just a, a very down-to-earth individual, and 
um, you know, I always know if there's anything I can ask him, he'll shoot me straight up. And, um, you know, he's just a phenomenal guy overall. Now, have you uh, know those? Uh, have you have you ever raced against those Yaki brothers before? I know they're they were they're they were tough looking tough out there on Saturday night. Yeah, you know, uh, we we've ran with them a few times. Um, they when we were running full time uh, in 2020 uh, for the Tucson Weekly Series, mm. they'd come over a couple times for the Chili Willie and the Turkey Shoe and a few of the local races. So, I've definitely have had my share fair or my my fair share of races with them and. Um, it's always cool to have them travel from Colorado the way they do. So now when's the race coming up in Irwindale? Is that this weekend or two weeks? Uh, that'll be two weeks here. So we got a week off and then uh, we'll leave the, the following Wednesday and practice Thursday, Friday and race Saturday night. So now what do you do down here right now? Cause uh, I, I guess I was communicating with your, with your mom, I believe that was. So what are you doing down here right now in terms of preparation? Are you working on the car? Are there things outside of, of you know, the racing part of it that you're doing to just kind of make sure that the business side is going correctly for you to start the season? Yeah. So, I mean, it's a combination of all that. Um, right now, you know, today you just got done cleaning it all up, got the, some of the body parts off of it that we had to replace in order to have it ready for Wendell. Um And then the, the rest of this week will just be going through all our notes getting all of our post stuff done from Tucson and, and making sure when we come back here next year, we're, we're able to unload the way we left uh, this weekend. Um, and then probably starting this weekend or Monday, it'll just be going back to our notes from last year at Irwindale and, and dialing that all in on the car, and, um, you know, hopefully be ready for, for Thursday's practice. But um, it's just uh, a few phone calls here and there talking to our partners and, um, trying to get some plans together. As a lot of uh, our, our partners are actually out of California, so mm. anytime we get down there, we try and, and make it you know a priority to see them and and uh, any way we can help them grow their business and support them. How big a crew do you have? So it, it varies. Uh, ma- majority of our crew is actually our family. Um, you know, we got probably on on any given weekend anywhere from from eight to nine, um, and almost half that is our family. So. Um, if it's not blood related, they've they've become part of the Raz family, regardless. So it, it truly is a, a great group of people we have on this team, and uh, a few guys back east that that'll come in here and there. Um, but it's truly a special group. Have you ever had a chance to have a conversation with the legendary Hall of Famer, the ninety-five-year-old Herschel McGriff Sr. while you're down here in Tucson? I I did a couple years ago when he did his last race. Um, the super late malls were running double yeah. headers that night. And, uh, I think he played the national anthem that weekend. It was pretty cool to see it. Uh, you know, uh, my good buddy Brandon is really close to that family. And, um, Shelly McGriff is basically my track mom whenever I come down here. So I love seeing them whenever I'm in town. She's everybody's track mom. That's for sure. Shelly is doing a great job taking over the new general manager out there at Tucson Speedway. Hey, Cole, congratulations on the win Saturday night. Uh, best of luck as this season continues for you. We, we look forward to seeing you back here in Tucson again in the future. Yes, sir. Thank you. I really appreciate you having me on. Cole Raz, the 2024 Chili Willie. 150 champion the nascar tucson season is off and running uh for this year and uh great great weather out there saturday night good decision to bump that race up because they probably would not have gotten it in on sunday had they waited to do just that 520-848-1290 were you out at chili willie this weekend did you see the racing like he said i mean there was racing out there thursday night friday and then the main races on Saturday. What did you think of those races? I was just watching some of that. I didn't get a chance to get out there, but I was watching some of the video, the coverage you heard up there from Flow Racing, man. And it was, it looked wild out there. Like like, like Cole said, that you jack up that purse five thousand dollars <laughs> from ten thousand to fifteen thousand, and and dudes might go be out there losing their mind <laughs> trying to get try to get to the front of the pack. Take it more serious. Just a little. Just a little. Always a great, though, way to start off uh, our local stock car racing season with that race right there. And now the the main part of the year, I believe, will uh, I'll get you the schedule. We'll get it, we'll get it up on our website uh, for you. And I believe it usually starts around early March, uh, the main part of the season. 
uh, with all the different divisions, super late models, uh, late models, uh, as well as the uh, pro stocks and legends and all the different divisions, the youth divisions as well. They got a lot of youth racing out there uh, as well uh, as up on off the freeway at the quarter mile track as well. Uh, so they've got a lot of good racing going on down here in southern Arizona. Make sure you get out this spring and this summer and check it out. Support those folks out at Tucson Speedway. They do a tremendous job. Uh, always been uh, great friends with those folks out there throughout my time here in southern Arizona. All right, getting you home every 20 minutes on the fives with your traffic and your weather. Here's Cricket. I'm from the O'Reilly Chevrolet Traffic Center. It's your Wildcats Radio 1290 traffic and weather together. New collision reported McGee and Oracle. Oracle and McGee also clearing Nogales Highway in Sarita Road. Some slowing backups, Ajo Way and Mission. 51, the overnight low with rain expected, probably starting around 5 or 6, and expected through Wednesday and 60 now. I'm Cricket with your Wildcats Radio 1290 traffic and weather together. This report is sponsored by Jackson Hewitt Tax Services, home of the money today guarantee. Can't wait weeks for your tax refund? Then don't. At Jackson Hewitt, get money today if you're approved for a no-fee refund advance loan on a prepaid card. Book today at jacksonhewitt.com. No-fee refund advance offered to eligible clients. Application required. Loans by Republic Bank. Details at jacksonhewitt.com. You know, there are times when you just want a new truck and times when you just need a new truck. So if either of those times are right now, O'Reilly has the time for you. O'Reilly Chevrolet. Hey, Eugene, what's with the giant pile of scratcher tickets? Uh, just my next greatest idea ever. Playing the lottery? That's right, Doug. With all my winnings, I can enroll in the UberTube car repair classes and finally fix your car right. No more disasters, Doug. Your luck is about to change. Well, then keep on scratching, Eugene. Good luck, Eugene. But if you need a sure thing in automotive repair or for your next set of tires, check out Jack for your tire and auto care. You know, we've guaranteed our tires in every auto repair since 1960. With more than 35 top shop awards and our Partners Network three-year nationwide warranty, you can count on Jack for your tire and auto care. And check out this month's special savings. Pay with your Jack for your tire and auto care card and get $66 back and check out the full page of promotions, discounts, and coupons at jackfurriers.com. So call ahead, make an appointment online, or just stop by any of our 14 area locations. Jack for your tire and auto care since 1960 here to get you there. Happy new year, guys. That was right in my ear. Oh, good. I see you're doing the whole baby New Year costume with the diaper and the sash. Time to make resolutions. I resolve not to look at you dressed like that. People should start the new year by fixing up their heating and air system. That's true. Alaskan AC can fix the stuff other companies can't. Again, right in my ear. Plus, the Grizzly. Right. The Grizzly is our custom-built AC made to take a chomp out of Arizona summers. Still winter, guys. And we can fix up heaters to save our customers gobs of money gobs we believe in fixing before replacing what's a gob an alaska fight system is one that will last longer and is guaranteed to be repair free for an entire year Woohoo! <laughs> i swear one more time with that thing good resolution gary let's get out there and help people fix up their systems and save some real money all right probably should have told him to put some clothes on first yeah Schedule now at alaskanac.com. Make sure you download or update the Wildcats Radio 1290 app. We've got the entire state covered like no other sports radio station in Southern Arizona. Plus, when you have the app, you can cover U of A sports with Wildcats Radio 1290 anywhere and everywhere you go and out of town, too. The mountains, the beach, working out, or maybe even... Oh, no, no, no. Turn that off. Download or update the Wildcats Radio 1290 app today and never miss a moment of sports analysis. Well, maybe an occasional moment. Wildcats Radio 1290. Thanks for calling Discover. This is Anjali. Hi, it's Jennifer Coolidge. I just got an alert for a strange charge on my card. No problem. We make sure you're never held responsible for unauthorized purchases on your Discover card. Let's see. Did you purchase something from a t-shirt cannon store yesterday? Absolutely not. No, I already have like three. Zero dollar fraud liability guarantee. It pays to Discover. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. Limitations apply. The new year is here. Time for change. Start a recession-resistant new career in the high-demand fields of IT, cybersecurity, and AI with My Computer Career in just months. Already in IT? 
Build your cybersecurity skills and prep for thousands of open positions employers nationwide are desperate to fill. Attend classes live online or on campus. Make this your year. Go to mycomputercareer.edu and take the free career evaluation today. That's mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available to those who qualify, including the GI Bill. Get the backyard you've always wanted with a custom pool from First Choice Pools, a backyard oasis built around you. First Choice is a full-service builder of beautiful in-ground pools and backyard designs for years of staycations. If you're ready to dive in, then visit tucsonpoolbuilder.com. Schedule now and get three months of full-service free. First Choice Pools for Installs, renovation, remodeling, and repair. Get started today at TucsonPoolBuilders.com. First Choice Pools, the first and only choice. DK on the Sports Tip on Wildcats Radio 1290. 520-848-1290 is the number to get in on the program. 520-848-1290. You can call us at that number. You can text us at that number. Shout out or cat call, as I like to say. Sometimes uh, you'll hear, he'll hear me refer to that term, cat call. And that is going to be when we want to shout out an Arizona athlete who has done something tremendous on the field of play, whether it's uh, current or former. And we will also on occasion uh, yell out what we call a cactus call. For those of you that follow me for my time on television, I used to do this. Uh, And a cactus call will be just somebody local uh, or regional that's done something fabulous in the world of sports. So the first cactus call we're going to give out today goes to uh, Travion White Austin from the University of Arizona Wildcats track team. He lowered his school record in the 200 meters uh, over the weekend, the indoor track side of it as the club was on the road in Albuquerque. And in the 200 meters, Travion ran a 20.64 he held the previous record, which he lowered his own record uh, from 20.97. He had set that mark last year. So congratulations to Travion White Austin out of Saguaro High School, a part of the men's 4x100 team that went to the NCAA finals last year and i'm sure that's going to be a team to keep our eyes on as the weather warms up and the tracksters get back out doors here probably in about another month and a half or so Uh, good to see travion off to a good start on the indoor side of things meanwhile arizona women's basketball went on the road lost on friday night on a last second shot at washington which made it three straight losses by a total of seven points, having lost by two against Colorado and then three at Oregon State last week. And then, uh, well, actually, let's throw out the Colorado game. We can put that in later, but the three straight losses in a row uh, coming at Oregon State by three, Oregon at two, and then Washington by two, throw in that Colorado game, which was the last time uh, they had lost before this current streak, and that's four losses. Their last four losses prior to yesterday were by nine points. So a lot of close defeats for Adia Barnes and her crew. Uh, Things got off to a great start yesterday in Pullman, Washington. Cunningham off the block, ready to set a screen. Eight seconds now as she tries to spin away and said goes to the left. Going to pull up with a three-point shot that's up and down. Alexis of Tucson, Charity 3, has the Cats on the board. 3-0, Arizona leading, 8.40 to go here, first quarter of play. Jada Williams, that would be the only three points she would have or a three-point shot she would make on the day. And that was just the beginning of this fabulous run to start things It's not Arizona. It's not good, but the rebound is tipped back. Brea's got that one as they again go over the top of the defense. And now to the left of the hole. Martinez is able to get it up and off the glass. Turns into a three-point trip for the Cats, who now lead 8-5. As Mary Martinez scored 10 points in the first half, Wildcats jumped out to a quick 14-5 lead against Washington State. That was in the first quarter, or about midway through the first quarter. Uh, By the end of the first quarter, that lead had totally gone away. And the 
Cougars were up by one at the end of the first period, and they would start to build on that lead in the second. So now back on the defensive side, just 30 seconds in. Here's B trying to hand it off to Wallach, going around a screen, and then goes back to the far side where Ledger Walker now wants to get it to America today, and now she's going to come out and set a screen. Center to the left, nothing there. Gets to the foul line, pull-up jumper, rolls in, and... They're going to get Williams with a little bit of contact. That was something that Coach Copa highlighted with us. Providing referees with an opportunity to uh, envision. <laughs> you can hear what Coach Barnes thinks. And D in the background saying, that's not a foul. No, no, that's not a foul. That's not a foul. Uh, Charlize Leisure Walker, she's still there. The, the, the defending Pac-12 tournament champion Cougars are maybe not as solid as they were last year, but they've still got one of the best players in the conference in Charlize Ledger Walker. She finished with 10 points and 11 assists. That's good. In this game as the Cougars had 19 assists as a team. And they would widen that lead in the second half thanks to their star, Tara Wallach. Rebounds pulled down by Washington State. Down by Washington is Ledger Walker. Will circle out and start the offense on the front court's right side. Fire pass to Wallach, who is uh, forgotten about. And as the Wildcats remembered, she's going to be fouled by two players. Who are they going to choose? Pueyo picks up her second. Tara Wallach would finish with 20 points for the Cougars, who stretched out their lead in the second half and win going away 78 to 57 so again you got to believe that all the close losses for this arizona women's basketball team kind of finally started to catch up to them uh and they finally got blown out in a game losing by 21 kaylin gilbert finished with 22 points and 11 rebounds in the contest to lead the wildcats as mary martinez we mentioned had 10 points in the first half, but only finished with 13 on the game. And the Wildcats have now lost four in a row. They've fallen to two and five in the Pac-12. After the ball game, Derek, pa Derek Palmer caught up with the head coach, Adia Barnes. I know that I'm going to be accused of uh, trying to softball a potential uh, excuse here for your team, but the, especially the last 15 minutes of the ball game, the Wildcats look like a team who's been on the road for a really long time. Yeah. How, how do you try to get them over that hump? Um, you know, I don't know. I think uh, we looked really gassed, which I, I think that's – Sundays are difficult for us. Uh, that's just a fact. I think they are a really good team. They're better than we are right now. Um, they have a – they play better basketball. I think um, they have experienced players. Every time we kind of made a run or did something, they really made us pay for it. Um so it was hard. We went to certain on balls. They <laughs> picked us apart with pocket passes. We did another. We we countered two or three times, and they kind of did a really good job of holding it and finding the right pass. And I think that we played with tremendous poise on offense in the first half. Second half, I think we stalled the ball a little bit. Didn't get the same ball movement, and some of that's fatigue. Oh. And uh, you know, it, it's just it's tough. But I mean, it is what it is. We're, this is what we have, and we have to figure out a way to get over the hump. We have to get better. I, there's one play they ran that killed us. They got like 10 points out of the same action. Is, is that uh, it, was they the, were it was like a, a stagger, reversal? a curl, and then a, a post popping out. Okay. So that kind of hurt us. We made the adjustments later, and we guarded it, but that really hurt us. They probably gave us 10 points on that. Th they also were able to, to do quick reversals and skip passes. Which is not what we do because you let a team like this do quick reversals and run their offense, they're going to pick you apart. They're solid. They have shooters. They have good post play. So, um, yeah, it's hard. Is that also a, a sign of fatigue, uh, not being able to stay within their, uh, your defense? Probably. I think that, um, you know, I think it is a sign. And people are playing a lot of men's. I, I was able to kind of rotate people a little bit more the first half. Second half, it's hard to get rotate, like, rotated when people are, when certain groups are playing well together. So I think that just getting a little bit more out of everybody so we can make those quicker subs and not play so many minutes. I mean, you saw that in the game, Helena, you know, is at, like, 39-21, it's, it's really hard to sustain Garner, a really good player at that whole time. It just is physically um, and difficult. So we have to be able to find ways to get her breaks, and she's very hard right now. She's very hard right now to keep off the floor. 
I'm sorry. Capri wants some attention here. <laughs> Uh, you started off defensively, forcing them to two of nine. They came out of that uh, first time out in the first quarter. Was it just a, a sense of urgency on their part, or what, what had happened that, that really allowed them to finish the game shooting 50%? Well, I, yeah, I think the second half, I'd have to see this. Well, they finished the game 43%, but I have to see, right? 43, am I the right stat sheet? Yeah. Um, I have to see, yeah, but they shot 60% in the fourth quarter. So I think they really picked us apart. That play killed us, and they're good. I think when we stayed in traps too long, they hit the corners and got good shots. And then in transition, they killed us really badly in the second half. Got uh, three players in double figures, especially Gilbert, who was scoreless in the first half against Washington, but then over the next three halves scores 40. She and also had 11 rebounds. Uh, double, double. Uh, if there's anything that you would potentially have to see from her, would it be more assists, or what does she need to do to try to set her teammates up? Yeah, I think Kaylin did a really good job, especially in the first half. In the second half, we needed her to score, and I thought that she took some shots, but there were good shots for her. Um, I, I think that that times when we need someone to go, she's capable of doing that. I think in the first half, she was really distributing, but that's also what we need from her too because we need other people to play and not stand and watch. But I think, you know, when we do distribute the ball, people have to produce. And t today it was tough for Brea. Brea was 0 for 7. She was avoiding contact, but she had eight rebounds, so she still did stuff to help the team, but she's got to be able to finish with this contact. And um, as Mary, I thought as Mary, 4 for 6, we needed to get the, as Mary the ball more second half because she was really successful, and I think they just pr brought a lot of bodies. They were allowing us to come off shooting and not hitting threes. So we have to be able to hit those outside shots to then open up as Mary again. What have you learned anything at all about your team during this tough four-game stretch? That we have um, – really small margin of error and I think we took we took like and I mentioned at halftime Courtney took a really bad shot going in half that was a three-point swing those are you don't want to give them the extra possession I think there's little learning things like that it's never the end of the game um, like it was at Washington it's earlier in the game the offensive rebounds I think that one thing that I'm proud of our team we did a much better job of rebounding I mean we had 14 offensive we out rebounded the last two opponents which was a that's a really weak point for us but now it's just figuring out a way to keep that balance like we did in the first half and sustain it through fatigue that ho the whole game and you know we're not ready to do that this is a, a veteran team that does that and they really make you pay when you make a mistake so we need to get that point where we can do that and we're young and we will get there and our freshmen are learning you know sky gave us some good minutes ice has gotten foul trouble we needed her but um uh, brea gave us good minutes in 27 minutes jada 31 um, they're getting better and they're learning, but it's the process of losing games in the interim, which is hard. It's on the job training. Yeah, and, but it's hard. It's getting losses right now training. That's five straight. I don't I don't remember the last game I've lost five straight, maybe my second year. So we have to figure out we gotta figure it out. It is what it is. We're not we're not gonna get any more players out there. I wish you could. So we have to figure out how to sustain and on these Sundays figure out a way to to pull them out and get some wins. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right, that was Adia Barnes with Derek Palmer after the game yesterday. It, it was a rough trip for Brea Cunningham, the talented freshman. She went a combined one for 11 from the floor in those two games, scored only four points, and two of those came to the line at the line. She doesn't get to the line maybe as much as you would like her to. She has only shot four free throws. Uh, the Wildcats have lost four in a row, and she's only shot four free throws in those four games. You'd love to see Brea obviously shoot more free throws. That's going to be important, I think, for this team moving forward. Uh, but it, it's tough to win. Again, I've, I've said it before, it's tough to win. I mean, she's one of your best players. She's just a freshman. She's one of your best players, but uh, can't get untracked offensively in some of these difficult road games. Had some foul trouble Friday night in Seattle. Didn't necessarily have the foul trouble. Played 26 minutes yesterday, but 0 for 7 from the field. 1 for 11 on the weekend. Coming back home Friday, though. Yep. California, and they're better. California's better. So that's going to be an important one because you're staring down Stanford on Sunday. You got to get that split at home coming up this weekend if you've got any shot. Uh, of making the NCAA tournament. You got to try to hold at least a split here in Tucson this weekend. They do have the uh, the rest week after that as well with just the school up north. So they do. The fatigue issues, obviously, we've, we've been talking about that all year long. Uh, it's a good time, obviously, with Cal and Stanford coming to town this week. They got ASU the next week with the week off. So uh, time to get some, some of their legs a little bit healthier. And that'll be the home game against ASU, so even better. They won't, uh, you know, they'll be home essentially 
uh, for the next two weeks. All right. It is DK on the sports tip. He is JW Madden. She is cricket. I'm David Kelly. Anthony Jimino will join us in the five o'clock hour, plus much, much more. Uh, a bit of an incident at Ohio State yesterday on the women's basketball side. Uh, we'll tell you about that and let you hear some reaction from a fan colliding with Caitlin Clark uh, in a court rush after the Buckeyes upset the Iowa Hawkeyes. It's DK on the Sports Tip. You're listening to Wildcats Radio 1290. From the O'Reilly Chevrolet Traffic Center, it's your Wildcats Radio 1290 traffic and weather together. Collisions reported 22nd Street near Swan, Duval Mine Road at I-19, Oracle and McGee is also clearing. And expect some slowdowns for Ajo Way and Mission and also on southbound La Cholla at Ajo Way. 51 the low with rain expected through Wednesday. It's about 59 now. I'm Cricket with your Wildcats Radio 1290 traffic and weather together. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. Shop the closeout event now at Lowe's. Get up to 35% off select major appliances. Plus, save an extra $100 when you spend $999 or more on all major appliances. Valid 1424 to 12424. Selection varies by location while supplies last. See Lowe's.com for details. Your Rome Report. There are plenty of tortured fan bases, and there are plenty of fan bases that have had their fair share of heartbreak, heartache, and agony. However, there is no fan base more tortured or knows more heartache and heartbreak than the Bills Mafia. You want to talk about agony, Mafia? I have to say, you are the undisputed champions of pain and misery. Unfortunately, that is the championship you get. That is the only title I can offer. But at least I can say you've absolutely earned it. I'm not here to pile on. I am here to share in that misery. I feel terrible for you. I don't need to ask you how you're living because I already know. I don't need to ask you how it feels because I already know that as well. Three plus decades of misery and agony and wide rights. It's almost like the universe is trolling the mafia. Like what did the Bills Mafia ever do to the universe to deserve this? Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Just go to hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95% off. That's right, get generic for Viagra, the same active ingredient as brand name Viagra, but for 95% less. It's the same medication, still prescribed by a licensed medical provider, but with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit. H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O. Everyone is talking about the cats and where to find them on the radio. Wildcat Radio, 1290 AM on your dial. Just talking all day long. Keep your radio locked to 1290 so you don't miss any of the action. We are Wildcats Radio 1290. At Nova Home Loans, we believe everyone deserves the opportunity to enjoy the independence that comes with home ownership. Whether you're a first-time home buyer who needs down payment assistance, have less than perfect credit, or looking to refinance, Nova has a variety of home loan programs for your unique situation. Visit NovaHomeLoans.com or call 800-955-9125 to learn more. More. Not a commitment to lend or extend credit. Rates and available loan programs are subject to change without notice. NMLS 3087, BK 0902429, equal housing opportunity. Remember to tune in to Wildcats Radio 1290 for the biggest pregame show in the Pac-12. Because that's how we roll. We go on the air four hours before every football and men's basketball game all season long. This is Wildcats Radio 1290. Jackson Hewitt has a plan to get your tax refund fast with a buck, buck here, a buck, buck there. Here, a buck, there, a buck, everywhere, a buck, buck. You don't have to wait weeks for your tax refund. Get money sooner with a no fee refund advance loan at Jackson Hewitt. On this loan, there's a money today guarantee. E I E I do. Don't 
Don't settle for chicken feed. Get fast bucks at Jackson Hewitt today. No fee refund advance loans by Republic Bank offered to eligible clients. Money today guarantee if approved for a loan on a prepaid card. Details at jacksonhewitt.com. Now, during Staples Print Big Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. So the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Big Sale. Print more, save more, up to $100. Ends 210. Visit staples.com slash print for details. Here's an important message from University Termite and Pest Control. The weather is getting cooler here, and so rodents will be seeking alternative housing. Do you need a professional? Call University Termite and Pest Control, 886-4146. They've been serving Tucson since 1974. You can be assured University Termite and Pest Control will keep you pest-free using the most responsible products and application methods. 28 school districts, three hospitals, two colleges, one university, and thousands of homeowners trust University Termite and Pest Control. You can, too. Call University Termite and Pest Control today at 886-4146 or go to BePestFree.com. KCUB Tucson, a cumulus media station. We are the sports station that Tucson turns to for all the latest news when it comes to Arizona men's basketball, along with all the play-by-play action. We are Wildcats Radio 1290. I thought learning a language would be too much work, but Babbel makes learning fun. Jim Babel. Babbel's lessons only take 10 or 15 minutes, and soon you turn and realize, hey, I'm starting to speak another language. How'd that happen? Babbel isn't robots talking. You learn words and phrases from real native speakers. I was ready for real-life conversations in just a few weeks. So easy. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. Live from the CNWT. From the what? Central Northwest Tucson. Duh. It's DK on on the the Sports sports Tip. With your host, David Kelly. Radio. Just when I thought I was out, they drug me back in. Featuring J.W. Madden. Don't tell me about flip-flops, man. I'm a native. And Cricket, getting you home with traffic and weather. Camp on Melt Lemon, not in the left lane on the freeway. Here we go! And now, now, a man who has not one, but three first names, David Scott Kelly. All right, we start the 5 o'clock hour with some breaking news. Just a few minutes ago, the University of Arizona sent out a press release, and I'll read it to you. The University of Arizona President Robert C. Robbins has announced a transition in the leadership of the Department of Athletics with Vice President and Director of Athletics Dave Hickey concluding his nearly seven-year tenure on February 2. Robbins has appointed legendary Wildcats former head softball coach Mike Candrea as the interim director of athletics pending approval by the Arizona Board of Regents. Uh, So Dave Hickey is out as athletics director at the University of Arizona on February the 2nd. What is that? Two weeks? Ten days? Ten days from now. The release goes on, and this is a quote from the president of the university. I want to thank Dave for his outstanding efforts in leading our athletics program through a period of significant change. He helped get our men's and women's basketball programs and our football program on a strong trajectory, oversaw the success of several of our sports teams, and greatly enhanced the student-athlete experience. Dave always displayed the highest integrity And I'm appreciative of his partnership and dedication on behalf of all Wildcats. I wish Dave and Liz and their family all the best in the years to come. That is the uh, president of the University of Arizona Athletics. Some shocking breaking news today as Dave Hickey uh, apparently is no longer going to be the athletics director at the University of Arizona after February the 2nd, Mike Candrea, winningest coach in NCAA softball history in 2021, uh, when he stepped down, led the Wildcats to eight national championships 
in his tenure, which was 35 years. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether that is a, a guy that potentially could get the role uh, full go. In terms of Candrea, Robinson's, uh, Robin says, every Wildcat knows the history of Mike Candrea and what he meant to our university and our community. I'm grateful for Mike's willingness to step into this interim role. I'm confident Mike and Dave will ensure a smooth transition as we immediately begin a national search for a new director of athletics. With our transition to the Big 12, success in our high-profile programs, a passionate fan base, and institutional alignment, I am confident that we will be able to attract a tremendous new leader of our athletics program. Wow. Big news today. The, <laughs> the big news just continues to permeate this school right now. When you look at going back to the fall and the announcement of the financial crisis facing the University of Arizona, and then the head football coach leaving just over a week ago, literally last Sunday, a week ago, the accelerated process to find a new head coach in Brent Brennan hired by Dave Hickey. And it was very interesting last week because Dr. Robbins was not present at the press conference that announced the hiring of the new football coach. Now, at that press conference, Dave Hickey indicated that President Robbins was under the weather uh, and for the safety of all involved was not going to be at the announcement. It was very curious, obviously. I mean, again, we, we, we take that for what it what was said, uh, but it was curious that Robbins, who has been a very large part of all of these hirings, was not there last Wednesday at the stadium. You know who was there? Everybody else. Everybody else. Everybody could fit in that room was there. Was there, including Mike Candrea. I do believe he was there. Uh, that day. So Dave Hickey is out as the director of athletics on February the 2nd. We normally talk with Dave Hickey on Tuesdays. Uh, we'll have to see if uh, we did not talk to him last Tuesday because of everything that was happening with the new coaching search, the football coaching search. Uh, we had anticipated that we were going to be back on schedule with Dave tomorrow. Uh, we'll see now if that transpires. Big news. If you want to talk about that. We'll open up the phone lines, 520-848-1290. 520-848-1290 is the number to get on the program. Dave Hickey is out as athletics director at the University of Arizona on February the 2nd. Mike Candrea, the legendary Hall of Fame softball coach, will take over the program, uh, take over the department, I should say, on an interim basis. We're going to be talking with Anthony Gimino here shortly. He was scheduled to join us. Uh, we will... Uh, have his thoughts on all of this. Uh, a perfect guy who's been around Tucson and covered sports here for a long time uh, to be able to give uh, an assessment uh, of what has happened here. Uh, but this is just absolutely stunning news. Stunning news out of the University of Arizona right now. Dave Hickey uh, will be out as athletics director on February the 2nd. All right. We will have all this information up for you later on our website, and our app. Don't forget, take 1290 wherever you go. This is a perfect reason to do so. Text APP right now to 520-848-1290, 520-848-1290. I will send you a link to download the Wildcats Radio 1290 app for your phone so you can take 1290 wherever you go. All right. 520-848-1290. Just stunning news there. St absolutely stunning news. Chris calls back. She wants to know if Washington needs an AD. <laughs> Washington? Uh, I don't They got one. Troy, uh, Troy Dannon, I do believe. I don't know if he's, uh, unless <laughs> unless his, his uh, president uh, didn't like something that he did over the course of the last two weeks and losing his football coach and hiring another one. Didn't a local uh, radio show host say something about 
always business, never personal. The last week, yeah. Like I, these all, all these fractured, you know, feelings or whatever. This is my guy. This is your guy. I understand. Like to me, it's quite simply a, a matter of longevity. If you can get a coach in who is interested in sticking around Tucson for a long period of time, DK, I think that's probably the best solution to Arizona's attendance issues that they've had at Arizona Stadium over the years. Uh, you know, security, longevity is probably the best way to tackle that relative to like who's which guy was whose guy and wh- whether or not this has anything to do with potentially, you know, Dr. Robbins not being there at that meeting or whatever. It's all speculation at this point. Yeah, uh, it, it is. It is something we're going to let you hear. Um, we had a chance to talk to Dave Hickey last week after the press conference. We never got a chance to play you that. Uh, and we will uh, let you hear that coming up later this hour in our Desert Diamond Casino replay. And here's some of the things that Dave had to say. It was very evident, though, just by the absence of Dr. Robbins, that this seemed to be a Dave Hickey decision to bring in Brett Brennan. Yeah. And now speculation is going to begin you're going to begin to wonder, was was everybody on board with this? Yep. Was everybody on board with this hire uh, of this particular football coach? Because all the other football hires had had President Robbins' hand stamp on them. Kevin Sumlin, Jed Fish. But this appeared not to necessarily have his hand stamp on it. And so we're going to have to wait to see. What transpires next? Well, Cricket joins us. Cricket, uh, mm-hmm. we're breaking news today. The athletics director is uh, at the University of Arizona is is out as of February the 2nd. As of 15 minutes ago. Yeah, this is just, mm. just crossing our desks today. Wow. Uh, just, uh, again, it's, 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 it's mind-boggling how these changes happen. Uh, so quickly, but I wanted to talk to you because I had a chance to go. Are you, uh, are you much into swing dancing? I used to when when I was younger, and oh. you know, <laughs> I did like to do it, but I I don't know if I was any good. But that's so fun. So we went to. We, I, I mentioned we were going to see Lizzie and the Trigger Men mm. on Friday night. Really good group. Really enjoyed that show. It was down down on the patio at Club Congress. Sold out show. A uh, lot of fun. I mean, it's just, she's backed by a 10-piece, like, band slash Ooh. orchestra. Uh, these guys in tuxedos. And, and you know, she's literally, literally out of the 1930s. I love that. Yeah, it was, it was a really, it was part of the jazz festival, which wrapped up uh, this past weekend. Uh, jazz acts all over town for, for the entire week. But that was a fun one. I mean, I've not, I've not done any swing dancing uh, but now I think, and my, and this was my wife's choice. We, she actually, cho- I was shocked. She actually chose this over the Disney sing along, which oh. was happening across the street no at the Rialto. Cause I thought, Oh, but we, we found out, we talked to some people cause after, uh, Lizzie and the trigger man ended early and ended earlier than that, sh- the show across the street was happening. And so we, we found out that that was kind of very much like. A kind of a Hannah Montana, what's the other girl, Lizzie McGuire? Oh yeah, uh, kind of show. Yeah. So it might not have been like it might have been like a little bit younger than us anyway, which was fine. Uh, but yeah, the the just the, it, it it takes you back swing music in in that whole era of the forties, and we kept saying like this is the this was the 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 music that the gangsters used to li- used to listen to yeah. uh, back in the day in New York City and Chicago and all these places. It just takes you back. To a different era and there were a lot of people that you know dressed up not a lot of people i should say but there were people that were kind of dressed up era uh dancing out out there d- doing the swing and that kind of thing there were that some was, guys there were some guys up there that were pretty good at that was swing our dancing. era too because like 94 5 6 that's when kind of ska and swing came yep. way 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 back in came back in hard mm. so like right around our college age when i was in my early to mid 20s swing was huge yeah 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 so I think I don't know. We might uh, we might have to go out and do some lessons. Take a class. Yeah, Take a or class two. or two on that. Uh, when people can swing dance, it's one of my favorite probably dance styles to watch. Yeah. There, I just think that's an amazing dance. It is. It is indeed. All right. So we've got more on this breaking news coming up 
on Dave Hickey. We'll talk to Anthony and Jamino about that right now, though. Cricket's getting you home every 20 minutes on the fives with your traffic and your weather. From the O'Reilly Chevrolet Traffic Center, it's Wildcats Radio, 1290 traffic and weather together with reported collisions, Nogales Highway and Valencia. 22nd Street near Swan, also Duval Mine Road at I-19, and some backups on westbound Ajo at Mission. 51 the low, expected rain through Wednesday, and 59 now. And I'm Cricket with your Wildcats Radio 1290 traffic and weather together. This report is sponsored by Discover. Did you know Discover wants everyone to feel special? That's why with your Discover card, you have access to 24-7 customer service, as well as $0 fraud liability, which means you're never held responsible for unauthorized purchases. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. Limitations apply. Did you miss the big game? We got you covered. Got a man wide open to the 10 to the 5. (laughs) Touchdown, Arizona. Nobody close to Tetaroa McMillan. On the sports tip, three to six weekdays. Hey, Eugene, what's with the giant pile of scratcher tickets? Uh, Just my next greatest idea ever. Playing the lottery? That's right, Doug. With all my winnings, I can enroll in the Uber Tube car repair classes and finally fix your car right. No more disasters, Doug. Your luck is about to change. Well, then keep on scratching, Eugene. Good luck, Eugene. But if you need a sure thing in automotive repair or for your next set of tires, check out Jack for your tire and auto care. You know, we've guaranteed our tires in every auto repair since 1960. With more than 35 top shop awards and our Partners Network three year nationwide warranty, you can count on Jack for your tire and auto care. And check out this month's special savings. Pay with your Jack for your tire and auto care card and get $66 back and check out the full page of promotions, discounts, and coupons at jackfurriers.com. So call ahead, make an appointment online, or just stop by any of our 14 area locations. Jack for your Tire and Auto Care, since 1960, here to get you there. Hi, this is Natalie Fernandez-Lee, president of Meridian Wealth Management. As a fiduciary investment firm, our clients have trusted us to guide them down their financial paths for decades. Whether you are an individual or family, business, foundation, or nonprofit, we are committed to your long-term goals and financial futures. We are proud supporters of the Tucson community and all that makes our city so special. Visit online at meridianwealthllc.com to learn more about Meridian. Advisory services provided by Meridian Wealth Management, a registered investment advisor. (coughs) Oh, this cold. Honey? (laughs) Honey? Honey, you need Dayquil Severe Honey. Dayquil Severe Honey gives you powerful cold and flu symptom relief with a honey-licious taste. Because life doesn't stop for a cold. Okay, I'm ready to go. (coughs) Now I'm getting a cold. Honey. Try Dayquil Severe Honey for powerful cold and flu relief. Dayquil Severe with honey flavor. The daytime coughing, aching, stuffy head, fever, honeylicious, power through your day, medicine. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. The new year is here. Time for change. Start a recession-resistant new career in the high-demand fields of IT, cybersecurity, and AI with My Computer Career in just months. Already in IT? Build your cybersecurity skills and prep for thousands of open positions employers nationwide are desperate to fill. Attend classes live online or on campus. Make this your year. Go to mycomputercareer.edu and take the free career evaluation today. That's mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available to those who qualify, including the GI Bill. Experiencing the natural wonders comes easy at Rock and K. Nestled at the base of the Rincon Mountain foothills. Enjoy stunning mountain views up close every day. Explore natural open space, a network of connecting trails, and a community park within the Vail School District. Visit Lennar's two communities in Rockin' K with home savings up to $35,000 and limited time interest rate and closing cost incentives on select move-in ready homes. Live rockin'K.com. Designed by nature, proud U of A radio broadcast sponsor. The American Red Cross is facing an emergency blood shortage as the nation's blood supply has dropped to critically low levels. Blood and platelet donations are needed now for people counting on life-saving care after accidents, surgeries, and those facing critical treatments for cancer and sickle cell disease. You can take action today. Make an appointment to give blood. To book a time, use the Red Cross Blood Donor app. Visit redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS to schedule your appointment. Android users, you can tune in to the home of the Wildcats by downloading our new app at the Google Play Store so you can tune in wherever you are 24 hours a day. The home of the Wildcats is everywhere. This is Wildcats Radio 1290. And Doug. Hey, listener, welcome to Lemu's Karaoke Lounge, where Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need, and the music never stops. Hit it. 
There's an emu with a full-time job. His partner's Doug, but Lemu's the heartthrob. Grubs and worms, that's what Lemu eats. Gotta fuel up to save you money and hit the streets. Only pay for what you need at LibertyMutual.com. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Never! The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers, Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. DK on the sports tip on Wildcats Radio 1290. All right, we've got breaking news again here in Tucson. Dave Hickey is out as athletics director at the University of Arizona, effective February the 2nd. Now, this is what Brett McMurphy of the Action Network is reporting. Uh, He says Arizona AD Dave Hickey was fired for financial and operational mismanagement resulting in an athletic department financial disaster, loss of major donors, and mishandling of former coach Jed Fish's contract. That's according to Brett McMurphy from the Action Network uh, headquarters, or Action Network HQ, which is uh, covers sports and gambling here nationally let's talk to a guy that has covered the arizona wildcats for a very long time uh anthony Jamino. anthony joins us now and, and just anthony your thoughts on this breaking news that has hit within the last half hour dave hickey out as athletics director at the university of arizona yeah it's absolutely stunning i haven't had much chance i'm able to poke around a little bit and like nobody saw this coming so it either happened really quickly or it was a well-kept secret. But basically what you just read is kind of kind of tracks with what I'm hearing. And certainly we know there's audits all over the university. So I suspect that um, uh, school administration got back some very troubling uh, news about the uh, athletic department's financials. Yeah, I mean – which- Seems to be the only thing that makes sense at this moment. And Brett McMurphy, um, you know, Brett's one of the really, he's a pro's pro of of, uh, college national reporting. So if if, it's not a nobody putting that out, Brett's one of the very, very best. So I do trust his reporting and and what he puts out there um, about this situation. When you when you hear the word, I guess, mis financial mismanagement, operational mismanagement, what do you? Th- I mean, what comes to your mind as somebody that's covered college athletics for a long time? Are we talking about you know overspending in certain areas? Uh, was there? I mean, I, it doesn't. I don't know if we, if, if if we want to say that there was something fraudulent happened or just not spending the money correctly i mean what, what do you think what do you think that maybe that could be <laughs> yeah gosh i wish i was an accountant <laughs> but, uh, but no i had to go to journalism way back right then. um so it's probably a little bit of all of the above mm. is there um is there money going out that's not accounted for um you know is there was there money um uh, you know uh, I, I guess I'll just leave it. At, I think all of the above, <laughs> yeah. Uh, because I, you know, it's like it just happened thirty minutes ago, and to speculate too carefully is probably not in it, not in our best interest. But um, yeah, I, I think you're kind of right with all that. It was it was very, but though uh, Anthony, it was very telling. At least I thought so. That President Robbins was not it was not in the building last Wednesday when the new coach arrived for his first press conference. I mean, President Robbins has, I mean, we've seen his involvement. I mean, this guy is on the sidelines at at football games. This guy sits on the sidelines uh, for basketball games. And and yeah, he's got a lot going on uh, with this university right now and financial things that are happening outside of athletics. Uh, But he's always around 
And, and I know Dave said he was maybe a little under weather, mm -hmm. but I thought it was very, very, I, th I thought it was like, that was one of the things that stood out to me was, oh, Bobby Robbins is not here today. There, there, there's, I, and I felt like there was something to that. Yeah, I mean, it seemed odd. I mean, at the time, you're kind of so worried and focused on everything else that you you can just kind of accept that, oh, he's not feeling well or he's, he's sick, doesn't want to get anybody else around him sick. You know, okay, that's perfectly understandable. Mm -hmm. Let's go talk about Brett Brennan. <laughs> um, but it's, it's so ironic that this is – it felt like this was really Dave Hickey's high point. Because we know the higher up some of the other high profile coaches, whether that's Jet Fish, that was a that was a President Robbins hire. Um, we know he President Robbins was very involved in Tommy Loy. And, you know, many, many years ago, Jim Livingood told me that an athletic director is always judged by the company he keeps, mm. which basically means who he hires. And Dave's been on a pretty good – well, they have, they have like department, the university, however you want to frame that, has been on a pretty good run. But this really felt like this decision here that everybody's getting behind, hire Brett Brennan, was Dave Hickey 100%. And it's not even – how long is it? How long has it been? Five days? Five days. I can't even remember anymore. Uh, four days, whatever it is, and he's out. So, uh, like I said, never a dull time to as, talk about Arizona athletics. Anthony, as somebody that's covered this, covered college for so long, are you amazed? I mean, let, let's just go back to the, the whole hiring of Brent Brennan and just the, the, the cycle of what we saw from uh, Nick Saban leaving on a Wednesday, uh, Caleb mm -hmm. DeBoer being hired on a Friday by Alabama, Jed Fish being hired on a Sunday to replace Caleb DeBoer at Washington, and then mm -hmm. going back to Brent Brennan being hired on a Tuesday to to replace Chad Fish, just the sheer speed of which all of this is happening right now is is it sometimes is it mind boggling to you that as somebody that's covered this for a long time, or is that just where we are in in how quickly you've got to be on top of these things now? I think that's where we are when coaching changes happen in January. If you know, some of these things were happening in November, December. I think you have a little bit more time, but maybe not even then because you've got the early signing day and, and things like that, and you can't be without the head coach for too long. So if you're an athletic director, you're not doing your job. If you don't have those five to ten names and phone numbers, you're going to call immediately if something strange happens, and you're not, you know, you, you got to be ready for that. So I think you know you can't let you can't let it go on for too long because you've got players entering the transfer portal, which means they're going to be talking to other schools, and you can't take two weeks. You know you gotta you gotta pick up that phone, do your interviews. In Arizona's case, they they were already familiar with Brent Brennan from interviews a few years ago. They liked him then. So that was kind of the, hey, we can, let's call them now, let's gauge some interest, let's see, let's float that out there, see how it works. So they they had a candidate ready to go in addition to a couple others they talked to, but yeah, you gotta you gotta move fast. It is uh, it is not how it used to be at all. We're joined by Anthony Gemino from PHNX Wildcats. Uh, he does a lot of writing for them. Uh, what do you think? Dave legacy or Dave Hickey's legacy uh, is going to be here at, at the University of Arizona. I mean, obviously, he may not necessarily be in the the well, you know we can't put him in the standing of somebody like uh, said Dempsey, who who might be one of the all time right. greats here at the University of Arizona. Uh, is he? Is, would you put him above Jim Livingood or, or or not? Well, you know, when when Livingood was here in the nineties, I mean, I know. You, more than any media member, other than maybe myself back in the day, really focuses and gets involved in the All Sports Directors Cup rankings. Yeah. And you, you go back, you look at Arizona in the 1990s, they were consistently in the national top 10. Right. 
And over the years, and not just it's not just Dave Hickey, they've fallen and fallen and fallen. And now you know probably better than I do, but they're around like 45 nationally. Right. You know, something like that for an all-sports ranking. So some of the other programs, whether it's uh, swimming, even softball lately, have uh, have fallen off from national championship levels. Maybe not that people care about that so much. But I do go back to what what I was just talking about. You, you're judged by the company you keep. So mm-hmm. did he, under his watch, did Tommy Lloyd come to Arizona? Yeah, that's, that's a win. Did he retain Adia Barnes? Yeah, that looks like a win. Did he hire Brent Brennan? Well, Jed Fish, no matter what we think about him in the last seven days, that's a win. Absolutely. He did a great job restoring the program. And Brett Brennan, to me, um, right now looks like a win. So a lot still has to be determined. If, and maybe, maybe we'll be better able to judge this in a few years when Brett Brennan does something great or not something great. And that will probably influence how, how we think of them. I'm glad you brought up the, the Director's Cup, uh, uh, Anthony, because I want to get your perspective on why you think. Is it just the the monetary side of it and that the Big Ten and the SEC have been able to surpass the Pac-12, especially when you look, you mentioned softball. I mean, back in the 90s, the Pac-12 was softball. Now you've got all these SEC teams that are, that are really, really good at mm-hmm. softball. And they, I mean, they have become a conference that can compete at a high level in that particular sport. I mean, they've always maybe been ahead of, of all the conferences in football, but now you're starting to see the SEC and the Big Ten and some and the, those two conferences particularly uh, uh, raise their Olympic sports levels to maybe where they weren't in the 1990s. Is it as simple as that being the reason that you think the Wildcats have fallen from uh, being a top 10 national program to a top 40 national program? I think there's there's two things at play. One, from an Arizona perspective, you look back 80s and 90s, they had an amazing, probably uh, a run of coaches you could not duplicate. Mm. Whether that's Dick Tomey, Lou Olson, Mike Andrea, Frank Bush, et cetera, et cetera, of Jerry Kendall, of national championship winning coaches who were at Arizona and they stayed. Frank Bush. Right? Um, that's hard. Yeah, Frank Bush. Um, that's hard to duplicate. You know, that was very special, and that's a super, super high bar to to continue on. So some of that started to change over the years as those coaches left. And the second part of that is a national thing. And in the late 90s, the landscape started to change because – TV money and football, which would now was all going to the SEC in larger quantities than to other conferences, they had all this money and they needed somewhere to pour it into. A lot of that went, of course, back into football, but a lot of it went into women's sports. That was their opportunity. So you see, in, you know, in the 90s, there were only a couple of SEC teams that had programs. Mm-hmm. South Carolina had a program. Florida started a program in the in the mid '90s. Now all of a sudden they have a full slate of programs with a lot of money and great stadiums. And I'm just using softball as an example, but it's that kind of money that the SEC took from football and started to spread it out to everywhere else. And those programs got really good on a national level and made it every made it harder for everybody else to compete. You know, Anthony, you wrote a great story uh, after the bowl game about where the turnover play, Dalton Johnson knocking the ball away into the arms of Gunnar Maldonado and him returning it to a touchdown, where that play should rank on the lexicon of great plays in, in Arizona Wildcats history. And and I absolutely agree with you that that, that is – should be one of the best and you and and i and i don't know how i'm not sure if you do, do you do you go back all the way to the chuck cecil play or or did you come after that i do yeah okay. i do and, and so most how, of the plays i mentioned 
Yeah, go ahead. How long did it take that play to become iconic? Was it iconic right away? Was it iconic maybe a few years later? Uh, because I absolutely agree. I, I, and I've said before, to me, I think one to me one of the most iconic defensive plays that should be on any list is Scooby Wright's horse collar sack on, yep. on Berkovici yep. because that yep. led to the only championship that we can associate with this football program. That helped lead to the yeah, only championship. A- and I agree that this 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 play in this game to beat that team in that style of bowl game is right there as well. The AG the the Chuck Cecil play that set the record, didn't it, at the time for the longest return nationally? Was it like that was like a one oh eight, wasn't it? Yeah, I think well, it was one oh six. One oh six, yeah. And I think later the NCA stopped counting <laughs> the... like how deep you were in the end zone. Right. It was either a hundred or ninety nine, you know, if you got in the end zone it ended up being a hundred. But, no, that play was – I mean, that play in that game, which was a, one of the top ten games in Arizona history, hmm. was immediately iconic. Um, no doubt about it. I know, I know you've mentioned that Scooby sack on Berkovici before. And I think – you know, I've, I listed 12 plays. I think I'd put it in the top 15. You may put it higher. Hmm. Um, but I've I've got the I've got the poll open for a couple more days, but right now that play the fumble return with Dalton Johnson, Gunnar Maldonado in the Alamo Bowl, it's been running three or four. It mm-hmm. keeps going back and forth. So we have the the Cecil play. I think is always not I wouldn't say always, but until something happens like in a national championship game, <laughs> it's probably always going to be number one. Right. Ortiz Jenkins. Uh, Leap by the Lake, number two, totally get that. I think everybody, you know, vast majority, that's one and two. And then right now in the poll, what's running three and four is the, the fumble return and Max and Dejas' uh, field goal to beat Notre Dame, mm-hmm. which I'm a little surprised by, to be honest, because it's a kick, but the kick meant so much. It was Notre Dame. The video of that play with all the Notre Dame game players just – collapsed on the field in defeat is so is so cool that I can see why it's it's iconic and memorable and all that. But um, yeah, I think that the Alamo Bowl plays top five for sure. All right, Anthony, tell people where folks can where they can go to vote on, on the poll. So probably you can you can find it if you go back in my Twitter feed of course, but go phnx.com. And then you know, just find the uh, Wildcats page and and scroll through my stories, and you'll you'll find the story, which has a recap of all the plays, video of all the plays, and then a big old link. You can go vote, and uh, you can vote one through twelve. All right, and his Twitter account is at ag wildcat report. Anthony Jamino. Anthony, we appreciate you taking uh, time to join us. Uh, uh, I didn't get to half the stuff I really wanted to ask you because of all the breaking news. So <laughs> I know. We'll, crazy. <laughs> we'll have to save that for another we'll time. We'll do it again. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, appreciate you, Anthony. All right, man. Take An- care, guys. Anthony Gimino, uh And uh, we'll fire that as our Wildcat Insider for, for today. Uh, and great thoughts, as always, uh, from Anthony Gimino. Crickets got you ready for some weather. From the O'Reilly Chevrolet Traffic Center, it's Wildcats Radio 1290 Traffic and Weather Together. With collisions reported, Nogales Highway and Valencia, 22nd Street in Swan, Duval Mine Road at I-19. Overton, east of La Cholla, Overton at the CDO Wash, closed through February 19th. 51, the low, rain expected through Wednesday, and 58 now. I'm Cricket with your Wildcats Radio 1290 Traffic and Weather Together. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. Thanks to Coors Light for bringing... During MVP's bonus days at Lowe's, save $20 on 5-gallon ceiling paint or primer by HDTV Home by Sherwin-Williams. Because Lowe's knows savings, Lowe's knows pros. Selection varies by location while supplies last. Discount taken at time of purchase. See sales associate for details.
Thanks to Coors Light for bringing you today's Arizona Insiders on Wildcats Radio 1290. Coors Light, official corporate sponsors of Arizona Athletics. There's nothing like game day in Arizona. My heat and air work in a state of disrepair. With the new year, we usually make resolutions to be healthier. Water quality in your home can help you achieve healthy living goals. I'm Ron Arenas with Picture Rocks Cooling, Heating, and Plumbing. We offer solutions to filter the water in your house that you drink, shower, and cook with every day. For clean and healthy water, call 520-440-4069. Choosing the right lawyer after a car wreck is important. You need to consider the law firm's experience, results, and reputation. Learner Row stands above other law firms when it comes to experience and results, helping over 150,000 people recover billions of dollars for their injuries. When it comes to reputation, we have thousands of five-star reviews, and year after year, we have been voted best personal injury law firm in Arizona. Call us today and let us put our experience, proven results, and reputation to work for you. Learner and Row is the way to go. Call 977 of every NFL postseason game. Hi, this is Scott Graham. Join us throughout the month of January and into February as we bring you Super Wild Card Weekend, the Divisional Round, Championship Sunday, and of course, Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas. All 13 NFL playoff games are on Westwood One. If it's the NFL playoffs, it's right here. Desperate buyers have created tremendous opportunity for sellers. If you've had the slightest thought of selling your home, it's time to call Sean Poston with the Poston Results Team at Keller Williams, Southern Arizona. Why choose the Poston Results Team? Past performance, more money in your pocket, over a 65% referral rate, an incredible Poston Results Team staff, and most important, communication, because you and your home matter. The Poston Results Team. When buying and selling really mattered, go to TucsonHomeValues.com. That's TucsonHomeValues with an S, dot com. Want to support a nonprofit that helps youth and adults in the most challenging moments of their lives and save hundreds of dollars on your Arizona taxes? Donate to Inner Mountain today and receive a dollar for dollar tax credit and support their work for their more than 20,000 at risk individuals each year. To make your gift and for more information, visit InnerMountainCenters.org. Inner Mountain, serving Arizona's health need for 50 years. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. I knew we could not put off getting life insurance. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $40 a month. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $18 a month. Call SelectQuote at 1-800-452-5050 or go to SelectQuote.com now. That's 1-800-452-5050. Full details on example policies at SelectQuote.com slash commercials. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. The Dell Technologies semi-annual sale is on with limited quantity deals on top tech. Save on select PCs powered by the latest 12th gen Intel Core processors like thin and light XPS 13 laptops, Inspiron laptops, and two in ones. Plus, get savings on select accessories, free shipping, and monthly payment options with Dell Preferred Account. Save today by calling 877 Ask Dell. That's 877 Ask Dell. You can make the decision right now to get lasting relief from that awful joint pain for 2024. Don't go another year compromising because of that pain in your knee or your shoulder. Call QC Kinetics now. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative non-surgical pain relief. Your body has what it needs to restore and repair that damaged joint tissue. And QC Kinetics can make it happen. No drugs, no surgery, no downtime. The future pain treatments has arrived in QC as tens of thousands of satisfied patients all over the United States, people with back pain, hip pain, any pain associated with arthritis or an injury. 
This is not a Band-Aid, folks. This is a revolutionary treatment that can get you moving again, get your life back, and listen, it's non-surgical. If this is the year you decide to fight back against that pain, take the first step now. Call QC Kinetics. Get that free consultation on your calendar today. Two locations here in Southern Arizona, one off of Academy, the other off of Orange Grove. Call QC Kinetics now, 520-497-4955, 520-497-4955. Call QC Kinetics. Once again, that number, 520-497-4955. DK on the Sports Tip on Wildcats Radio 1290. And now, the best thing you will hear all day. Hachi machi. It's time for the Wildcat Radio Replay. In case you missed this earlier in the day, we now bring you the best of the best of 1290. It's made possible by Desert Diamond Sportsbook, Arizona's best bet. All right, breaking news once again is happening right now. Dave Hickey is out as athletics director at the University of Arizona as of February the 2nd. That in a message sent out today by the president of the university, Robert C. Robbins. Dave Hickey had just hired a new football coach last week in Brent Brennan, uh, but he is going to be out now. Uh, as athletics director in about 10 days. We had a chance to chat with Dave Hickey after the press conference last week. I want you to hear a little bit uh, about what he had to say about the process in hiring the new head football coach. I'm not going to move fast just to move fast. Got to make sure you move the right way um, and do the right things and get the right person. There are a lot of good coaches out there. I had to get the right person, the right coach for this football program and the right leader for the football program so but there's no question the world has changed a little bit so it's compressed and you want to move quickly you want to move swiftly you want to um, move so that it's in the best interest of our players and our student athletes that's what I'm doing so uh, uh, you know I I'm not intimidated or concerned about that but it's certainly a factor you've got to keep in mind Were you interviewing a Sunday? Pardon me? Were you interviewing as soon as Sunday? Um, got to get my timeline right. This has been, a, felt like three weeks, but I guess it's only been three days. But, um, yeah, I think we were, you know, talking to a lot of people um, on Sunday. How many, how many people did you interview? You know, the initial group, I'd say, was around, you know, that was seven to ten people early on. Kind of went, narrowed down to four-ish, five, dropped down to two, you know, kind of. Yeah as you guys would expect, but, you know, and moving pretty quick through those guys. With this being January instead of early December, does that take a different context to a search? Do you have to approach it differently now that it's not your usual coaching search time of year? Well, again, I, you know, I think you need to be ready at any time of the year now in the new, uh, the new landscape that exists out there. So you've got to be ready to move quickly, uh, efficiently, effectively, have people in mind that you want to talk to. People you can go and talk to. I, you know, I talk to a lot of people outside of coaches, uh, people that I trust that are in the business on the NFL side, the college side, uh, retired coaches, you know, so I mean, I'm talking to those people all the time. So it, it, yeah, you got to be ready to move. As, as far as balancing, trying to stabilize the roster with trying to get a long-term builder for this program, where was your mindset on that going into this? Look, uh, I, I want someone who can lead this football program that first cares first and foremost about the student athletes and the players. Um, it's people first, as Coach Brennan said, you know, and we'll, if we take care of the people side of this, everything else can fall into place. Um, I want someone who cares deeply about people, the players, and their ability to be successful. And uh, that's the kind of person I want. Dave, were there any new things that stood out to you about Brent that maybe hadn't three years ago? Well, certainly he's, he's grown as a coach over the last three years. He's grown as an individual. He's been successful. He's been in the heat of things, made decisions. So anytime you, you can lead a program and you continue to do that, you learn more. You, you've been in the, in the fray and in the battle, and that makes you a better coach, a more tested coach. So regarding Avor, um, obviously that was kind of an issue with the previous coach contract situation what's different about this that you're able to move the ball forward and you know get done what you need to get done as it pertains to that you know bureaucracy element? well we have a vacancy we need to fill the vacancy the board has been supportive of that and we've done that that's it that's simple as that hey i'm a, I'm a front front windshield guy okay i'm not going to spend a lot of time looking through the rearview mirror 
and trying to analyze the roadkill. Not going to do that. When you when you talked to the players for the first time on Sunday, you said uh, we were, you said the next time you'll meet with them when you're introducing a new head coach. How confident were you in the process and the speed of the process at that point? I was very confident. Okay, I mean, again, uh, I, I, I'm, I, I just say it like it is, and, and with our players, I'm very honest. Uh, I think that's the only way you can be with people, and certainly with players and their families. And the, uh, I told them what I thought was important. I told them that I needed them to trust me. Uh, I'm in it with them, and the next time I was going to talk to them, it was my hope. I don't think I said I was going to walk right in with it, but my hope was I will, I'm going to give you come in here with somebody that can lead this program, and uh, so that happened within. 24 hours, I guess. Maybe I lose track of the hours. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you intend on having uh, Coach Brendan at the basketball game tonight to uh, introduce to the, the crowd? I think he's going to be there tonight. I think we're trying to work through some things, but I think that's definitely a possibility. Yeah. There's no way to predict the future, of course, but you have mentioned how you feel like you have to do this every year or be ready all the time. Do you feel like in Brent Brennan, because he loves this place so much, he's been here before, relationship with Dick Tomey, that this could be a long-term relationship? Well, that's the intent uh, for a long-term relationship, somebody that will see it through, that's really committed, wants to be here, has a strong appreciation for the program and a love for the program that I think is very apparent. Um, and I think that goes a long ways and uh, uh, definitely committed to the players and committed to making this program the best it can be. I, I think it's a long-term uh, deal. That's my my take on it. Dave, I promise I'm asking this to not have you already renegotiating his deal. I, I, I say this in the sense that you, with the financial circumstances that have been facing the university, that have been facing the athletic department, do you feel you guys got a value out of this too, financially speaking, considering where the contract is compared to where, and I know you don't want to go backward, but compared to where the reports were that it would have been potentially as recent as a week ago with the prior coach? Do you guys feel like you financially put yourselves in a good situation with this considering everything going on? I think every situation is its own. So uh, the, the situation with our previous staff is not related to this one. We went out. We're hiring the best coach under the best circumstances that we can. Um, the reality of this situation is, hey, uh, because of some of the coaches' movement um, through the buyouts, there's some resources that we gain. Um, we've made a very prudent financial decision. But as I've said, we're going to continue to invest in our primary revenue sports, and a big one is football, and we're going to invest in football. So I'm not stepping back from that one in instance. Um. That was the Wildcat Radio Replay with the best of the best from 1290. It's brought to you by Desert Diamond Sportsbook, Arizona's best bet. All right, that was the athletics director of the University of Arizona, the now outgoing Athletics Director, breaking news this afternoon, Dave Hickey is out as of February the 2nd, according to the president of the university, Dr. Robert C. Robbins. Uh, we'll get more into that. This is uh, We actually are going to go up to the top of the hour here uh, because we've got the Tommy Lloyd Radio Show coming up for you at 6.05 from the Union Public House. And In fact, you know, special guest tonight will be new head football coach, Brent Brennan. So you still have a few minutes to get in. And if you have a, anything to say about this breaking news, Dave Hickey out as athletics director at U of A, 520-848-1290. Wildcats Radio 1290 and Coors Light want to send you to the men's basketball tournament, the Pac-12 men's basketball tournament at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, March 13th through the 16th. Grand prize. Check this grand prize out. Two all-session passes for the tournament, $1,000 in cash cards to cover your travel plans, a few nights in a Vegas hotel, or whatever you want. And if you want to win this, check out WildcatsRadio1290.com and sign up. Get all the details and official contest rules over on our website, WildcatsRadio1290.com. Coors Light and WildcatsRadio1290.com sending two people to the Pac-12 Men's Basketball Tournament in March at the T-Mobile Arena. Good luck from Coors Light and Wildcats Radio, 1290. thousand yeah. bucks in Vegas, that's like um, <laughs> a really good weekend for someone sensible or a really good couple of minutes for somebody who's... So here's the thing. Hair's on fire. Okay, so $1,000 in cash cards. So that means to cover travel and hotels. So... If somebody's giving me a thousand dollars, 
I'm driving and getting the, I'm getting me like a room at Aria or Cosmopolitan sure. or one of the best like hotels on on the strip. Bottle service. Bot- <laughs> there you go. Bottle service. We pop champagne. That's what we do. Live it up. If you're going up there, you might as well. <laughs> All right, so that was the athletics director, Dave Hickey. That was a conversation we had with him after the press conference last Wednesday uh, when he had announced his new football coach. But again, I'm going to read you the press release that we got in case you missed it just about an hour ago, a little over an hour ago. uh, This is what the university sent out. Now, this was from the official university press me, or media relations department, not athletics, but University of Arizona President Robert C. Robbins announced today a transition in the leadership of the Department of Athletics with Vice President and Director of Athletics Dave Hickey concluding his nearly seven-year tenure on February the 2nd. Robbins has appointed legendary Wildcats former head softball coach Mike Kendra as the interim director pending approval by the Arizona Board of Regents. I want to thank Dave for his outstanding efforts in leading the athletics program through a period of significant change, said President Robbins. He helped get our men's and women's basketball programs and our football program on a strong trajectory, oversaw the success of several other sports teams, and greatly enhanced the student-athlete experience. Dave always displayed the highest integrity, and I'm appreciative of his partnership and dedication On behalf of all Wildcats, I wish Dave and Liz and their family all the best in the coming years. That was the press release that the university sent out about an hour ago. Now, in terms of what is being reported uh, by Brett McMurphy from the Action Sports Network, he is saying Dave Hickey was fired for financial and operational mismanagement resulting in an athletic department financial disaster, loss of major donors, mishandling of former coach Jed Fish's contract, among the things. Now, when they say major donors, that's interesting because, I I mean, I still see all the major players that have been around for the last 10 years. I mean, you know, Cole and Jeannie Davis, Still see them. I think they've been on some of these donor trips that we've seen uh, pictures of and and whatnot. So they're still around. So I'm wondering who some of these major donors are that they've lost. We've seen the emergence of Humberto Lopez, HSL Properties, as a major donor and and benefactor on the NIL side. So I'm wondering who they're talking about there in terms of the major donors. Uh, The handling of Jed Fish's contract. We know that there was maybe some things that went on there in terms of they had a deal. Uh, Did they not have a deal? Could they get it approved through ABOR? There was a lot going on there in terms of Jed Fish's contract and him making a decision to leave and go to Washington. Stay tuned. DK will have all the answers to these questions tomorrow. Absolutely. Right here on DK on the Sports Tip. we'll, We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Have a great night. From the O'Reilly Chevrolet Traffic Center, it's Wildcats Radio 1290 Traffic and Weather Together. With collisions reported, Nogales Highway and Valencia, 22nd Street in Swan, Duval Mine Road at I-19. Overton, east of La Cholla, Overton at the CDO Wash, closed through February 19th. 51, the low, rain expected through Wednesday, and 58 now. I'm Cricket with your Wildcats Radio 1290 traffic and weather together. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. During MVP's bonus days at Lowe's, save $20 on 5-gallon ceiling paint or primer by HDTV Home by Sherwin-Williams. Because Lowe's knows savings, Lowe's knows pros. Selection varies by location while supplies last. Discount taken at time of purchase. See sales associate for details. We get you so close to McHale, it sounds like the Arizona pep band is riding in your back seat. What the hell is going on? This is the home of Arizona men's basketball. You're listening to Wildcats Radio 1290. Can't get enough of your Arizona Wildcats? Make sure to stop by Taco Bell in the spring for a meet and greet opportunity with some of your Arizona men's basketball players at Taco Bell. Pick up your favorite Taco Bell combo and live Moss with an autograph or photo from Kylan Boswell and Keisha Johnson. 
Taco Bell, locally owned and operated, and proud partner of Arizona Athletics. Bear down and live moss. Here's an important message from University Termite and Pest Control. The weather is getting cooler here, and so rodents will be seeking alternative housing. Do you need a professional? Call University Termite and Pest Control, 886-4146. They've been serving Tucson since 1974. You can be assured University Termite and Pest Control will keep you pest-free. 